right so welcome back to my channel where i share content on the power platform generally i do more of power bi and we have some series of webinars that um, are facilitated also available to us on the channel so you can just go to the playlist you have it filtered down to the specific things that you will need don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the other contents that I'll be sharing after now. So today we want to look at something in Power BI and um, it, it's you're getting data from Dataverse essentially. A couple of times people try to get data from Dataverse but uh, uh, some people have issues connecting to Dataverse while at other times it may seem like you're not know, finding the table you want to connect to. What then is the way out of this? So I have a blank Power BI file opened and to connect to Dataverse, Microsoft has actually brought it out here. So it's now part of the frequently connected to data sources. So you see Dataverse here. But right before then, let's take a look at what our data source, what our actual table looks like on our data verse so i'm going to switch here to make the power apps i'll come here to my tables on the powerapps.com and here so by default you'll be on the recommended tab so where you can switch to the custom tab so you see the tables you created yourself um so assuming i want to connect to let me look at one of the tables here and um, so let me say okay for instance maybe i want to connect to the exit process table okay so i have this table already my power apps is writing into this table and i want to analyze the data my power apps is generating which is being written into the table i want to analyze that in power bi how can i connect to this particular table sitting right within my dataverse um, just a quick look at this. I would click on this to open this and so we say uh, what the table is like. So this is coming up. All right, so this is what I have here. I have a couple of um, other columns here. So if I just select to include um, some other things here just very quickly so that we can see every other columns that I have here and I do save so here this is what we have and uh, you can see the data that we currently have here so I want to load this table into my Power BI desktop and so that I can go on to analyze that so let's go right into that now I will go to my Power BI and then you can go to get data uh, if you don't want to click on dataverse right from here get data then you see dataverse here so select that and now it's establishing connection to my dataverse tables and um, in a minute or thereabout We'll get to see all the tables that I have in my dataverse. So the very first thing is, if I come here and it will be sure of what environment this table is sitting on. So this table exit process table is sitting right on my default environment. So I'll switch back to this and then I'll look at my default environment. And here, um, I'm gonna expand this to see all the tables that I have in there. So let me look out for exit process table. So that is the name of my table, exit process table. So I'll look out for that, which would be what you would also want to do to try to scan through if you would see your table. But I can tell you that you won't see that here. So let me just validate that. So this is E, because this is arranged alphabetically. This is E, so I see email, I see email server profile, expired process, export solution upload, and now I'm on F. So which means that I can see the table name here. So let me quickly show you what's happening. So if I come back to all my tables, 
and here I do a search for exit process table so here is exit process table that is the table name that you gave to him so I gave it exit process table for the name that Dataverse recognizes is CR30B underscore exit process table. So which means this is the name we need to look out for and not this. If you're looking for the actual table name that you gave to it, you would see that. So you need to look for the name that Dataverse gave to it. And that's the only way you would find it and you'll be able to connect to it. So let's go on to look out for CR30B underscore exit process table. So here I'm just scrolling a bit up. You see that I have a lot of CR30B. Uh, I'm just go sliding up, 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 up. Um, so I think I've passed it. So here it is CR30B underscore exit process table. So I'll check this box. And um, once I check the box, I will get a preview of um, the actual data. And then I can go on to now transform my data in power query if i would want to do that of course that is recommended you should always do that or you go on to load your data directly into power bi i hope you found this um, helpful let me know in the comment section what this means to you and uh, if there are other questions you want me to answer in my subsequent videos you can also leave those on the comments section here. Thank you. See you at other times.